a new game dropped today, and I'm so hyped, because we haven't gotten any new Undertale content in like three years, and now there's this. I don't know why it's called Survey Program. That's a little suspicious to me. Are you there? I am here. Are we connected? I mean, sure. Whoa, that's really cool. One sec, I need to actually move this. We may begin. Okay, what is this? Yo, this is giving me huge Earthbound vibes. You must create a vessel. The background here, this looks like Earthbound. Select the head that you prefer. Yo, this is cool. Okay, so we're probably still playing as Frisk. This one looks like Frisk. I'm going with this. Select the torso that you prefer. Yo, this is cool. I like the jacket. That's kind of nice. That's a nice jacket. Select the legs that you prefer. That's cool. You're, like, designing a character. I love the music already, dude. Oh my goodness. I can already tell I'm gonna like this game. This is your body. Yo. Do you accept it? Yo. This is so cool. Yes. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now. Disgust, fear. I'm gonna go with love. I think it's cool. Have you answered honestly? Yes. Do you acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure? Yes, I guess. Understood. Name your vessel. We get to give it a name. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it soups. We called it soups. And what about the creator? Oh, your own name. Oh, so that's the character's name. So my name, I don't know, I'll go with Will, I guess. Will, all right, excellent. Truly excellent. Thank you for your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Will now be discarded. What? No one can choose who they are in this world. Oh. Your name is... And they did that again. Of course. Just like they did in the original game at one point. Oh, it's Chris. We're playing as Chris. Who's Chris? So we're definitely playing as one of the older souls, right? I think. So that's Toriel. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. I'll wait outside for you, alright? Wait, so what's happening? What is happening? There's CDs under the bed. Classical jazz, religious ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Oh, cool. Oh, there's a computer over here. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. The drawer is mostly empty except for a school co cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Closed drawer. Okay. What is this? It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. <laughs> it's stained. Okay, so this is the bed. Your bed, okay. Oh wait, we already did that. Okay, what about the window? It's a beautiful day outside. Dude, it keeps like referencing back to the old game. I'm getting so nostalgic. It's like I haven't... I, I played Undertale like three years ago. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Hmm. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded, and there's no green. 
It's only you. <laughs> the door's locked. Okay. So this is reminding me a lot of Toriel's house. I don't think that was Toriel, though. Oh, this is cool. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Okay, so that person was our brother, I think. Wait. Look at that! You can slide on things now! They, they, there's, like, so many, like, aspects of Earthbound that I'm catching in this now that I've actually, like, played a good bit of Earthbound. I remember in the original Undertale, though, there weren't any surfaces you could, like, slide on like this. I think that's really cool. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stove top. Someone's making, a, like, a cake or something. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. <laughs> It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. That's nice. Can we leave? Oh, it's a bathroom. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Flamin' Hot Pizza Flavor. <laughs> it seems to be almost entirely full. Okay, so I guess it's not getting used. It's a toilet. Flush it? Sure. You flush the toilet! Woo! We did it. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. <laughs> Can I look out the window here? No, I can't. Okay. This chair looks like a one-to-one -one copy. It's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. Okay, so that's, that's Toriel's chair. That's gotta be. It's the TV. It doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Hmm. Guess no one uses it. It's a book of hymns. Alright, guess we go outside now. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, this is a, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azrael visits next week. Okay, so that is Toriel. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Wait. So this is a sequel, right? This has got to be a sequel. Yeah, this is a sequel. Okay, so that is in fact Toriel, then. So we're in a school now. That's cool. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I need to. I need to. I need to think about that for a second. So Azriel is still alive then, and he went to college, and then he's coming to visit. Who is Chris? How does Chris tie in with this? I'm confused. Where did Chris come from? I'm trying to, like, get my head wrapped around that. So, does everyone have a... Oh, I'm late. Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Alright. Hello. Crisp! Awa! Versors. Tem already have partner. Oh, Tem already has a partner. It's, it's the egg. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. <laughs> partner? I hardly know her. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. Darn. That's unfortunate. Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <sighs> Not. I actually want to get an A. Oh, we just got roasted. Did you, did you see that roast? Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? I'm um, sorry. Birdie already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alphys if we could make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Uh, not yet. 
I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Okay. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. Oh. <laughs> Chris, you know that Jockington and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. I like this snake. He's cool. You can just tell that he's cool. It was hula hoop day, and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. <laughs> what? What am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. Animated schoolwork. And hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? It's definitely not watching anime in class. Yes. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve this. Abort. What? But well, Chris doesn't have a... Well, what are you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Uh, actually, I just wanted to know if... Oh, can you please speak up? Oh. Uh, hi, Susie. <laughs> Am I late? Oh, no, no, you're fine. We were just, uh, just choosing partners for the next group project, and... Um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. Dude, Susie is intimidating. And now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. You don't have the assignment ahead of time? Or, oh, they're gonna write it down now. Okay. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and... You already know I can't start class without some. Well, where did the chop go? How about this? If no one speaks up, uh, everyone gets in trouble. Well, what if there was just no chalk in here to begin with? Uh, anyone? Please? <laughs> hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noel. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. All right, I guess. Oh, you just ate the chalk. Who eats chalk? Chris, didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? I saw you eat chalk. Hmm. You can't even say. Chris. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Oh, where is this going? Oh, ow. Probably people piss me off. Oh. I think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Haha, <laughs> come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Is this a boss fight? Are we going to get in a boss fight? Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger, <laughs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Ooh, we're gonna f we're about to get in a fight. Chris, how do you feel about losing your face? Um, yikes. Nah. Okay, that was scary. Chris, you've got a good mother. And to be ashamed to make her bury her child. Yikes. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Oh, that sounds pretty good. Don't bother answering. <laughs> I didn't even get to say. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Oh. Let's go, freak. So that's cool. This game's kind of like... Like how Undertale, they were like, you get you get to make like so many choices, and like there were so many different endings, and like this one, there's like a motif of your choices don't mean anything, silly. You don't get to make decisions. 
Alright, let's go. If you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. I'm not used to walking around with someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Oof. That's a that's a roast right there. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. What is happening? Hey, Chris, is it me, or is it really dark in there? Yeah, it looks pretty dark in there. What's the hold up, Chris? Are you going to go in, or what? I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Fine, if you're going to be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. Okay, what is this? See, why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. This is not a closet. I was trying to find a light switch. This is not a closet. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Dude, this is not a closet. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? Yeah, you think we have reached the end by now. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants Chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Is the door gonna be gone? Are we stuck? Yeah, we're stuck. Okay. Wha- What the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us- What is happening? The floor, it's-